Hey guys, Survival Bob here, and I've got another quick video for you with five more things I wish I knew when I started playing Atlas. Guys, we really did well with the last video. You guys seem to really enjoy it. Please hit the thumbs up button if this one helps you as well. Make sure you give me comments down below. Let me know what you wish you'd known when you started playing Atlas. Let me know if this helps you. I really do appreciate that. I've got a few more ideas for videos, and there's definitely some good stuff I haven't put in here yet. Just haven't had the opportunity. But uh, let's jump right in and see what we got. So in a lot of games, respecting your character's points is very difficult. The devs actually made it pretty easy in this game to do. You can go to a town and buy a thing uh, to do it, but they also offer you the opportunity to respec every time you level up. You can come in here, don't if you just don't tap one of these flashy things and hit on this cog, and you can respec. So you click on this, and bam, you've got all your points. So once you hit the respec, you're going to lose all your skill points and you're going to lose all the, of the points you've put into the other areas. So you can go back in and you can respec these as you see fit. And it see, you see how many points you have. I have 38 and I'm going down as I add them. So if I want to get my health up to say 200 and then worry about my weight after that, I can do that. So I've respec all of that. Now I have 736 points available that I can put into different things. So it's closed everything back out. You're starting over just like you were brand new. All right, guys, this next tip is about torches. Uh, you know, you can put a torch in your back pocket while you're riding or running around. Well, you can also put a torch on your Tame's saddle, just like an arc. You gotta put it in the inventory, highlight it, the saddle will become blue, click it, bam, now, check that out there is a magical floating torch right there on your tame so you've got a light to follow you in the darkness wherever you go pretty cool huh now unfortunately the only way I've figured out how to take the um, the torch off is to it doesn't give you the option you got to unequip the saddle then you've got to go into the options go to remove and then skin to get the torch off which is kind of annoying if you know a better way let me know in the comments down below all right so have you ever taken your tame to the top of a massive cliff to take a look at a beautiful sunrise and then realize oh, man it's a long way down i don't want to i don't want to walk but if i jump I'll, i could hurt my tame or even kill him so uh let's check a look at the health let me show you something okay so we got full health 1326 if you jump with your tame, and as long as you dismount prior to hitting the ground, and if it's an elephant, you can ride on his back, neither of you guys are going to take fall damage. Check it out. But then a cobra's going to come, and that's a different story. Get out of here, stupid cobra. I'm doing something. Alright, did you mess around with the wingsuit like Bob did and figure out you don't know how to fly it and just throw it away and give up? Well, let me show you what was going wrong. You see down in the bottom right hand corner next to the vitamins, you got those little feet? That means you're running. And if you jump and try to do this with while you're running, you're going to tank. Bam. You're going to think you have it, and then it's going to go away. Now we're going to try that again, but first we're going to stop running first. So we're going to push in the button so the feet go away, jump release and fly like a bird right into the cactus but at least we didn't tank early right so when you're using the glider suit make sure you're not running just like the med kit no running even if you're not moving it's gonna tank it every time oh and take it off because it's stupid and it doesn't then it slows you way down <laughs> All right, guys, this next tip is off of the game, but on to some resources. These are things I wish I knew when I started. I've got two resources for you. I'll put links to these down in the description. The one is uh, a map that has all of the islands, discoveries. Uh, you can put the discoveries on and off if you don't want to see them, and all the resources. But, uh, you know, this is great for me to plan. This is how I planned where I was going to live. So I ended up in my series coming down right here in my single player world because I can look at the resources and I can see that between these four tiles I've got tropical desert temperate 
and I've got four different types of metal. And if you hover over the island, you can see what animals are there as well as the resources. Now this one's really quick and it's easy for me to kind of pull around and see what I'm looking for. Uh, I like this one. This is kind of the first one I started using. Uh, but then a buddy of mine shared this other one for me. This is from the uh, the EU, exploreatlas.co.uk. So um, these guys have put together uh, another map. So you've got the map. Uh, it's, it's a little bit different. It doesn't scroll as easy for me. But one of the cool things is, is if you click on the islands, you can get a real good picture of what these islands look like, which is great when you have a treasure map and you're trying to pinpoint exactly the shape of what you're looking at. This is really handy because you can really zoom in on this. It has a taming calculator. There's lots of other cool stuff in this as well, but let's say you want to tame a lion. Uh, let's say he's going to be level 40 because you're awesome. So if you're using prime meat, it's going to take you 44. It's going to take you half an hour, 19 bolas. So you know what you need to get in there. But then you can go up here and say, okay, well, I'm taming tier three, taming proficiency. So that's going to knock it down to 11 bolas in 16 minutes. Uh, and I'm going to need 25 prime meat. This, uh, this, this is going to show you the stats. You can put the points in here and figure this out. You can see where the points are. Uh, if you imprint your lion, what it's going to look like. It's really, really cool. I uh, hope this was helpful. Two good resources. I'll leave these both in the comments section so you can check them out if you like. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, please hit that like button. Subscribe down below for more content. Maybe check out my playlist. I've got a lot of videos going on my solo series, playing through the Atlas and having fun. Monkey, I'm sorry about those feathers. Those look like they're really bugging you, don't they? Hmm. Sorry about that, bud. Well, guys, we'll see you next time. And remember, if you're going to be a Bob, have fun with it. And uh, if you're going to have a monkey, make sure you have a feathery hat to tickle his nose with. You weird little monkey, aren't you? See you next time, guys. You pooped on my back, didn't you? Pooped on my back. Guess I deserve that. <laughs>